What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who've been following me for quite some time, uh, you would know that I've been gone for quite some time. <laughs> All jokes aside, uh, let me just make sure this camera is focused. I decided to take a short break for a little while and then that led into more time and then just kept happening during that period. I think it, it, it kind of, you know, I was enjoying my drink a little bit as well, a bit too much. On top of it, I started to become like a little bit recluse or I didn't really want to come back on YouTube. I knew I would come back because it's something that I wouldn't give up. But all it was is that I, I started to feel a lot of pressure. And sometimes when you haven't been on YouTube for quite some time, um, it can become quite difficult to become confident again. So anxiety, it creeps in and you start to feel uncomfortable when even in the attempt of recording a video. So I didn't actually even get to the point of recording a video and sometimes, if not all the time, that's why it's important to just do something because even me just speaking on camera now, I feel a lot better um, than I did 10 minutes ago before recording. All right, so all I would advise anyone is if you do start something and you gain some momentum, uh, don't stop, <laughs> all right? If you take a break, make sure you get back to work, all right? That said, I've also had a baby during that time, so maybe that was something, because um, I'm one of those people that just plow on with things, so maybe that was something that also crept in as well. Two sons now, and uh, that's that, all right? So, what you've come for today is keyword research. That's what I've titled the video and that's what this is about. And this is because I'm using a little bit of a different strategy uh, as of now. This is a great way of finding some buyer intent keywords. So what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna source some keywords, then we're gonna filter them, and then after that, we're gonna verify them. And I'm gonna take you through all of those processes um, so you can actually implement that to your own website and uh, get some results from that as well. And for those of you who are actually looking for the dog site and the results, and what's going on with that. I'll be doing some update videos in the coming weeks. For the moment, I'm gonna take it step by step. So I'm gonna start off with one video per week to get myself back in the flow of things. And then after that, um, we'll start to move up to two videos a week and then uh, who knows where it will go from there. One can dream, okay? So anyway, <laughs> we move guys, we move, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get back onto the handy dandy computer that you guys haven't seen for a while. It's actually probably got some cobwebs on it because it hasn't been used much. And uh, so is the camera. I blew those webs off just now. And um, yeah, we're gonna get back into it and get straight into keyword research. It's what we come for, it's what we do. And uh, yeah, that's it, let's get into it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so when we get started, what we're gonna do is there's two things that we can actually do um, in order to source our keywords. So one of the ways that we can do it is by reverse engineering competitors. Um, and one of the other ways that we can do it is by directly typing in keywords into Ahrefs. So I'm gonna be using Ahrefs for this particular tutorial. And that is because this tool is very effective in plucking out most of the organic keywords that uh, a website ranks for, opposed to what you would find on like Key Search or something like that. Not saying that Key Search isn't a great tool. And if you haven't actually watched my Key Search tutorial, which is a very cheap alternative to uh, Ahrefs, then I suggest you check it out, I'll put a link up uh, in the cards above. Key search won't actually bring up all, all of the keywords you would potentially get with Ahrefs. So is, Ahrefs is the superior tool and uh, is able to graft more resource for you, you know, which is very important because we're reliant on data. All right, so what we're gonna do, how would you find a competitor website? Well, one of the things that you could do is type in a, a particular keyword that you're trying to target, so that could be a way. Or you could also um, just uh, drum in like a keyword and see what other sites pop up or put your own site in and see the competing sites if your site's already established. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do, um, let's pick a niche, let's say uh, bow and arrows. And what we're looking for here is we're just looking for like a quick low authority site that we can drum in and then find some competitors. So, I mean, when we're looking at this DR score, which is standing for a domain rating, which is a metric created by Ahrefs, usually, based on the link profile of a given website. So it's showing the strength of the entire website as a whole. Um, that's what we're usually gonna pay attention to in this circumstance. DR zero to 20 is like low authority sites. I would say 20 to 50 is like mid range and anything over 50 is a high authority site in the grand scheme of things. Okay, and that's just my kind of mental note where I kind of gauge this. I don't know if I've read that somewhere or something before. But um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is try and find something very low, usually below 20. They say uh, page two is where they hide dead bodies. Okay, so um, we're usually gonna look down there to try and find these low authority sites. Um, so we can see here, 
what types of arrows should I use for a crossbow? So this is a low authority site. I mean, they haven't yet gained a lot of uh, authority yet. So we're gonna use that. And what we can do is uh, we can use this website to find more sites, okay? So we're gonna copy the domain and this is our process for sourcing websites within the niche. And this is also good when you're choosing a niche because it can help you to decide on how competitive the niche is, okay? So this site's looking pretty good as well because you can see this is a brand new website and they've got an upwards trajectory there on referring domains, looks pretty good. Let's see if their traffic correlates with that, um, which it pretty much does. They had a drop off there, maybe a Google update or something, but they've recovered and they're coming back. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So what you'll see here is when we clicked over to organic search on the computer, we can now see uh, that there's a top 10 competitors. Okay, so these are competing websites. Now, if you click these small arrows, it will actually show you the domain rating of these sites. So a lot of the time, if you find a low authority site, what the benefit of that is, is it's gonna suggest other sites um, within that kind of range okay so that's very beneficial to us because we're trying to reverse engineer those sites so this second one is a domain rating of 36 which is still pretty much good for you and the reason why um, it's still good for us is purely because uh, the way that I'm going to show you to filter these keywords will be able to pluck out um, those low competition keywords that even a highly competitive site ranks for so what you would do is you would make a note of all of these sites you know I would take the high authority low authority all of them and we would reverse them. So let's take one that we uh, almost know that is gonna have a lot of keywords behind them. So we've got here like a domain rating of zero for this. Like, I mean, those kind of sites, you can take anything they're ranking for and compete with them because they're a brand new uh, website. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drum this site into Organic Keywords 2.0. Now what's beneficial about actually using Organic Keywords 2.0 to get all the rest of it in there is you can keep filters on within this uh, dashboard and then you can change the site. So when you wanna alternate between different sites, you can have like the same filter set and then it will bring up the, the keywords given uh, your filters that are set. So what we want is uh, keywords that are of a difficulty zero to five. So Ahrefs keyword difficulty score is based on a link profile, backlink profile, okay, of a given page or website or whatever. On a page by page basis in this circumstance, we're looking for terms that are bringing traffic, ranking well, um, but with a low competition level, okay? So with a low KD. So what this tells us is we've got a very high authority site, but we're gonna try and pluck out the keywords that they're ranking for that are of a low competition. So th those are the ones that don't have a lot of links going to the first page, the top 10 results on Google, okay? And that's Ahrefs way of telling you the level of competition but they do say this is just one of the factors that you should be using and not everything within your research. You still need to further verify uh, or qualify the keyword, which is gonna be the last step that we do. These are all a mixture of keywords, okay? So the, we're gonna specify the types of keywords that we want it to bring up. So we're also gonna set a keyword volume of uh, 20 or above, okay? And all that does is it just makes sure that there is some traffic behind these keywords. As you know, these keyword tools are all based on estimates over a given period of 12 months. So there's no guarantee that there's absolutely gonna be the exact amount of searches as what you would see here for organic traffic. It's just a gauge to give you an idea of how popular a term is of whether it's like low popularity or high or medium or so on however you choose to gauge that okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to look for keyword and it must contain and this is where we can specify the types of keyword that we want to bring out so i personally have been using it for best and how to's or how much like how and best type keywords okay so the first one we're going to find is the best type keywords so what this will allow us to do is we can quickly establish all of the best type keywords that this site's ranking for that are of relatively low competition. And if you wanna further develop this and uh, find the really long tail terms, you can add the word for. So it must contain the word for. So it'll be best X, Y, Z for X, Y, Z. So as you can see now, we can see best arrow rest for recurve bow, okay? Best compound bow for target shooting. And because we've set that minimum on the traffic, we can see all of these different terms. The last step that we would do is verifying these keywords. But what we would do is we would export this. So the next thing we're gonna do is export this list, okay? So I'm gonna export this right now. Okay, so once you've exported the list, what you need to do is come to File, 
and then import on Google Sheets, upload, and then you just upload the file, okay? So once you've done that, you're just gonna replace spreadsheet, okay? So, um, and then we've got all of this data, but there's only a certain amount of data that we're gonna need from this. So what we're gonna take is keyword tab, the volume, and the keyword difficulty. And then we're gonna swap that keyword difficulty with volume there. And we just need these three columns over here. So now we've got all of these keywords and we're gonna do something with that in just a second, yeah? Now you would repeat and rinse and repeat this method uh, for all of the other key uh, websites that you found within the recommendations on Ahrefs. So you've got all of those sites and not being funny, it could be perpetual because you'll just keep going and going and going. What we're gonna do is type best and then our niche, okay? But this needs to be product focused when you do this because we're trying to find these product type keywords, okay? Talking about archery, we're gonna say best bow and then that's it, we'll leave it at that. So it's very open-ended and the reason why is because we want the tool to uh, generate and produce as many options as possible for us. This video is sponsored by Ezoic.com. If you're looking to monetize your website with ads and increase your user experience and perform the highest yielding revenues, Ezoic is definitely a great way to go. Ezoic is a certified Google publisher that uses machine learning to improve the performance of your website on a per visitor basis. Alongside advertising opportunities, Ezoic also provides you full access to extended tools and features such as Site Speed Accelerator, which is used to increase the site speed loading time of your website. You have lazy loading, CDN integration, and much, much more. Zoic is definitely a great way to go to increase your earnings and reduce your efforts at the same time. Just click the link in the description or head over to zoic.com to sign up today. A quick pause comes with the game, you know? <laughs> but yeah, we're back to it anyway. And um, what Ahrefs have recently done is they've changed the way that this works. So before you used to have phrase match and uh, ex uh, ha having same term and questions that were all separate tabs. Now they've combined all three of them uh, into one, okay? So everything um, is in one and you have the different options um, within one section, which I think is pretty good because it all comes under the umbrella of matching terms. Now we've got all of these best 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 because that all means money 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 okay and a lot of the time you're gonna want to you're gonna want to just export this whole list okay but what we're gonna do is so we're gonna set a KD max of five again, okay? So we've got zero to max. And then a volume, a minimum of 20, okay? You could set that to 10, 20, I, I, I like to do 20. Um, we're gonna export this, cause you can see, look, we've got 122 keywords that are all related to uh, best arrow. And what you could do is you could look, do best bow, best this, best that, wh whatever kind of niche or, or subcategories are in the niche, um, you can do, okay? So there's a bunch of best buy keywords. I mean, how many do we have in the list? Um, let's have a look how many in this column 934 terms because obviously it's counting this one at the top as well so that's quite a lot yeah it was down there it just showed us if you didn't see that that's where it is okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to remove all of the duplicate terms so some of them may be uh, you know sometimes if you're checking different sites different competitors they may uh, all be ranking for the same terms and the likelihood of that is very high, especially when those sites are being suggested off of Ahrefs one after the other, okay? And then obviously some of those terms that you found and sourced in the organic keywords might be some of the ones that those sites are already ranking for. So we may have almost identical terms inside of here. Okay, so what we need to do next is select all three columns and then go to data and then go to remove duplicates. And what we're gonna do is just select column A because that's the only column that we wanna remove the duplicates from. All right, so what we've got here now is a list without duplicates. And uh, what we need to do is select all of them again, data and create filter. Now, what this is gonna allow us to do is to quickly find the uh, lowest competition terms that we could potentially target and the highest volume. So we can set up these different filters and it allows us to navigate the information very quickly. So you can see uh, we've now got how many terms? 861 different best type keywords within the uh, bow and arrow industry or outdoor niche that we can target. And obviously you can do another sheet. This could be like, you know, uh, best keywords. And then you could have another one that's all to do with informational keywords, okay? And you would do your hows and whatever. You'd repeat the exact same process that we just done 
and, and do that that way. We're gonna select this filter and we're gonna clear them and select only the DR, the KD zeros. Okay, so these are the absolute lowest competition ones. And then we can sort it by Z to A and this now gives us the uh, highest potential search volume behind these terms, okay? Okay, so let's pull this one, best peep site uh, for compound bow, okay? So this is something that I would uh, look at and see if we can uh, penetrate the uh, results for this, okay? So we've got uh, a DR10 showing up there. They've got three referring domains. Um, and what we're doing when we're qualifying a given term is we're looking at the do follow uh, key, uh, links only. And you can see the status of this is live and they've got a DR71 going to that. And is it related uh, to the site? Um, I mean, to Bose, it could be somewhat because this is a book website um, and we can actually open that up and see how that looks in regards to the anchor text and so on. So we can see there are different ways to string or compound bow. So it's highly related um, from a book website that's very authoritative. Um, and then we've got 37. So this is not so much low competition. So this isn't one of the first things I would go for in that sense. So we're gonna keep going because um, we've got all of these terms that we can target. Okay, so let's go for this term here. We've got a uh, best bow quiver for hunting okay so 48 there we got uh, okay so this looks like of a lower competition okay so this is something I would potentially go for so you can see top quivers and uh, arrow cases for bow hunters and then here we've got what's the best bow quiver in 2021 so this is optimized for that and they are uh, somewhat authoritative and then we've got this uh, we've got Amazon and then we've got a DR3. This is something I would consider. Um, it's not that low, so I would try and uh, get even lower competition than this. So let's go back to the list. Okay, so I've got best glue for fetching carbon arrows. And then uh, right here, we've got uh, a forum in position one, okay? And then a DR1 um, right up the top. I mean, we could take a look at all these other sites, but straight away, we can see that there is a potential behind this because we've got these two low authoritative resources here, okay? So we've got obviously a forum which is classed as low quality uh, content, user generated content on the internet, just a bunch of people having a conversation. And then we've got in position two, a DR1 website, um, which is really well written, to be honest, um, for an affiliate site, but it's just a basic Amazon affiliate site. So there's no reason why um, with some good content, you couldn't compete with them. So that's about it, really. You would pluck out the uh, how-to keywords almost identical to that. That's how you would do it. You would try and find, obviously, any of the terms that are particularly uh, ranking for how and does and so on and are and why and so on. And if you wanna find all of those kind of questions that that you should be putting in like those modifiers, then you can go to a website called answerthepublic.com and they will actually give you a bunch of different queries. If you put in any search, it will bring up a bunch of results that will give you ideas of the things that you should be using as modifiers uh, to put into the contained section on Ahrefs. Um, that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you are brand new to the channel, then make sure to leave a like on this video if you did find it helpful. I will be coming out with regular videos uh, in the weeks coming. So I'll be definitely posting at least once per week and then moving it up to twice per week once again. Just got established some level of momentum as you can understand. Um, for those of you who have been following me, I'm very sorry that I haven't turned up recently, but I promise um, I, I won't be taking breaks as long as I did in the future. Um, onwards and upwards for the channel because I've done a lot to obviously get it to this stage. It's not a huge channel, but it's big enough and I do value all of you that uh, watch the channel watch the videos and uh, engage and you know and support me and support our community all right so that's it i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace